Welcome to another episode of Universal Gaming. I'm your host, Paula Brandt. Today we're going to have D&D Storytime Episode 4, where I talk about events in an old D&D campaign. Uh, Action News is a video I did for television production class in college. It's a funny video. You'll want to see it. Um, I also have some Minecraft Dungeons. We've been playing that a lot at our house lately. I'm trying to level up. I'm not too good at it. If you have a question or comment, email me at brantp23 at yahoo.com. I've been running some games on Discord and Roll20, uh, video chat type games. I do post player openings on meetup.com under the group Fort Wayne Gaming. All of that info is all over our credits at the end of the show. So stay tuned, and I hope your dice roll 20s. We'll be right back after this.
Welcome to D&D Storytime, Episode 4. Last time, the group had attacked a stone flyer before noticing it was protecting its young. They found tunnels that led to the Underdark. Underdark is what's known as the undercaverns in cities of mostly drow or dark elves. Ivor used his disguise kit and gave everyone a drow disguise and tips. Ivor told Welby to pretend he was a child and keep his hood on his head. Ivor asked everyone to stay at the tavern for a day until he returns. Ivor went to a monk temple and had some blades surgically added to his elbows, very similar to Wolverine's claws. He also paid for rapid healing so that he didn't have to stay more than one night. Ivor's a rogue spymaster, so he had the money. Ivor met a drow named Odensk at the monk temple. Odensk joined the party pretending to be a slave in order to escape Underdark. Ivor saw a direwolf and a few slaves in the market. He bought the direwolf and the slaves, Malik, Zion, and Kratos. The slaves joined the party to escape Underdark. They met up with the group in the morning. The other players were too afraid to leave the bar. They all left the Underdark city and found a subterranean pool to wash off their face paint. They were attacked by Sahagin. Lizard-like swamp people. They found a passage that led to a subterranean swamp. The party fought some wraiths, and Ivor got a scroll from Darsal. They found a city of Imaskari and spent the night. They found another way out of Underdark. They fought a caryatid column and some piranhas. A ghostly visage entered he- Ivor's head one day. Hey, Ivor said, that tickles. They found some necromancers. Later, they found a cave with a riddle over an archway. Ivor entered the archway alone. Ivor fought a replica of himself, and he won. The plane of mirrors, basically. They exited the caves and found a wooded forest filled with wild elf druid tribes. Ivor's dire wolf named Fluffy is awakened. Fluffy is so smart, she can speak common and draconic. Zion and Kratos were put into a stockade because... They asked the wild elves about the Underdark. You don't want to do that. Ivor went alone to a red dragon lair. The entrance was guarded by two human knights. Ivor made a natural 20 called shot to the groin of one of the knights and an intimidate check on the other knight. The guards let Ivor in. Inside, Ivor bluffed to a necromancer that he had a donation for the dragon. Ivor left a scryed upon coin in the dragon's lair. The party tried to unite two wild elf clans, dragon and bear. The party acquired a green orb of dragon kind from a green dragon near the camp of the wild elf tribe. Andorn stayed behind in the elven druid tribe. The group adventured on to the Citadel of the Mists and spent two weeks there striking alliances with Mistmaster. Carney joined the party. Zion wrecked a tavern by using a feather token tree. Ivor took lashings for Zion. Ilyana and Taggart joined the party. It is the 26th day of the month of Kythorn. Try to have more D&D story time next month. Thanks for joining us. Hello, my name is Paula, and today we're going to comment on a video that I made in television production class with my classmates, John and David. Um, There shouldn't be any copyright violations because, like I said, it's a video that we created for class. Um, I'm going to play the video and maybe comment on it after, hopefully after. (laughs) And uh, it's a video called Action News to show our abilities at making a TV news show. Like I said, it was me, John, and David that did this. So let's take a look at this. <laughs> oh, why? Welcome to Channel 5 News. I'm John Yoder. With spring just around the corner, potholes are popping up everywhere. Reporter David Shea has these tips to stay safe. Officials at the Indiana Department of Transportation would not comment on the severity of pothole problems, but Brooks Beatty and I Another employee gave some helpful mine. information. Typically happens is you have moisture, rain, snow, melting snow, whatever, uh, freezes, and, and then it thaws. 
house and it melts into the cracks, the surfaces of the streets. And when it refreezes, the moisture underneath the surface of the street it freezes and expands. We repave streets every year. We've been paving 16 to 18 miles of the street surface each year. And this thing. Put cold mix in in the winter time, which is a sort of a temporary asphalt mix. Cold mix generally will not stay in place as long as hot mix. Hot mix is more of a permanent solution, actually. Potholes can cause damage to your vehicle. You may pop a tire, lose a hubcap, or lose control of your car. Well, I think people just need to be, you know, keep their eyes open and be aware of where they're driving. At night, they can be difficult to see, but if they see one, the best thing they can do is report it. The number is 427-1235. We also have a city website, which uh, you can go to at www.cityofportwayne.org. Also, for Centennial Wireless and Nextel customers, pound 24 established. Remember, That's spring safe. is right around the corner, so pothole problems won't be around for long. Reporting from IPFW, I'm David Shea for College 56. <laughs> Thanks, David. That what? was interesting. Up next, a giant camel kills 20 in Baghdad. Stay tuned to Channel 5, and we'll be right back. Wow. Wow, just wow. Um, like I said, that was a video that we created for our television production class. Why we went with the St. Patty's theme and why I was rolling around in the snow after a car crash, I still don't know because it has nothing to do with potholes and I wouldn't have fallen out of the car during a car crash. We were trying to be funny. Anyway, thanks for joining us. Comment below and subscribe. Thanks for watching. We'll do another video again sometime. I take old crayons and new crayons and make them into new shapes. I got some new molds that can make Lego person shapes, and I have video game controller shapes.
That's all the time we have today for Universal Gaming. I hope your dice roll 20s, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.